I'm about to say Cleveland Jr. Cleveland Jr. Let me tell you. I can be C-D-E-F-G. Dr. Jumba Jukiba. I was feeling a bit screwed, so I checked myself in. What is that monstrosity? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I'm Kevin Michael Richardson, and I'm an actor and a voice actor. I played. Oh, where do I start? I played Lester Crinklesack in uh, the Cleveland Show, as well as Junior in the Cleveland Show, and I love my daddy, and he helps me wipe even though I'm 14 years old. A B C D E. Gee, someone should have told you not to f with me. I play Smidge in the animated uh, series Trolls on Netflix. Oh my god. Uh, Robert Hawkins, you remember from Static Shock. Virgil, you better get your butt back to school. Uh, man, oh man, and I played the Joker for the Batman. Batman said, ow. Oh. <laughs> I was Barney Rubbles on, on uh, Flintstone on the Rocks. Anyway. Hiya, Betty. Hiya, Mama. It's my homie I tried to tell you about. I build things and it keeps my number little fingers busy. Little guys like that, you know. Well, I studied theater in a uh, Syracuse University. I knew that's what I wanted to do ever since I was a little kid. Ever since I was five years old, my inspirations were uh, Flip Wilson from the Flip Wilson Show, uh, James Earl Jones, uh, Sir Lawrence Olivier, watching him do things and he features like boys from Brazil or watching him play, you know, do Shakespeare. When James Earl Jones had a big take on me, it kind of frightened, frightened me as a kid because watching Sesame Street, you know, I come from an old school uh, Jamaican upbringing. So education was always important. So my father would make me sit in front of the TV. Yeah, he's like, you see that? Watch that, watch that and learn what the, what the man will tell, tell you, learn what I'm doing. And he, you know, James Earl Jones would be speaking, uh, saying the alphabet but he would say it in such a scary way, and I'd watch it, and he goes, A, B, C, and I'd be, <laughs> you know, it was kind of, <laughs> a little bit traumatizing, but he had such an effect because his presence just came through, and I just said, I want to do this. I want to have fun. I want to get out there and, and, and do these characters and, and, and sing and play. I, I originally wanted to be a comedian, but uh, my Father was a little bit I'm against that, so I said, okay, well, I'll do something more serious. I'll be an actor. <laughs> I figured that was more respectful and more prominent and more prestigious. And uh, I just stuck with it ever since. I got involved with high school plays, grammar school plays, and, and did a lot of uh, plays at Syracuse University and just really dug into it and just stuck with it. And uh, by the grace of God, it just, uh, things worked out. I was blown away. I was blown away to be nominated. I was very happy. It was a big deal. It was a big issue for me at the time because I was actually very upset uh, when um, I was asked to audition for the Joker because Mark Hamill uh, is a friend and I, you know, had high respect for him playing that character uh, as well as many other friends and many other fans. So uh, I, my problem was what's wrong? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But it was a new set of producers, you know, a new set of animators, and it was a new project. And I remember, and I've said this before in interviews, uh, the day that I was asked to audition, which I didn't want to, I did it, and I was so frustrated and so angry about it that I, you know, channeled all of that energy into the mic while I was saying the lines. And literally a couple of days they said, oh, you got it. And I went, what? <laughs> you know, I just did it just to get the audition, you know, you know, done and, and you know, away with. And then it just turned into this uh, this thing and it, and it worked out pretty nicely. I had a lot of fun doing it. I had Mark's blessing, you know, and uh, that was fun. But to be nominated for an Emmy, I, I remember someone told me at work uh, that day, uh, the announcement was made in the news and I said, I said, what? And I, I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I thought it was just a rumor. I thought they were joking. I, but I had no idea it was uh, for real. It was for real. I'm Kevin Michael Richardson, and please subscribe to Verite VoiceOver on YouTube. That's right. It's me, Rosie, from F is for Family. F you. <laughs> no, not F you. Love you.